Welcome everybody back to Let's Go Pikachu Shiny Hunting. This is episode four. We're still here trying to find Boober, and I did look it up, and his name is Boober. Magmar. Booba. In Japanese it's Booba. Booba. Boo and then Ba. So Yeah, we're still looking for him. Hopefully we can find him soon. Um, we do get lucky and find him. I will probably start working on finding another Pokemon. I don't know which one yet I want to do after this, but just focus on one at a time. So, let's say, hoping we can find it soonish. Oh, he ran into me. No. Gonna run? So right now, all I'm just doing is gonna walk around to see if one spawns. I don't need to catch anymore. I, I just... Oh, you stinking rat. I don't need to catch anymore. I just need to start running around. Going in and out of rooms and whatnot to see if one spawns. And I was working the settings and yeah, it's still a wee bit laggy, so I apologize for that. It's just it, it's better than what it was, that's for sure, but it's still kind of laggy. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what it is about OBS. I don't know if it's my PC. Alright, my PC. It could be my PC, it could be OBS, combination. All I know is it doesn't do this when I play it offline. Or, you know, not streaming or recording. So, Magmar, Shiny Magmar, come out, come out and play. Math, math, whatever you are. Whew, it is. It's warm today, you guys. It's warm. It seems like it went straight from winter straight to summer. I hate that. There's like no in between. Like, if there was an actual spring, it would be, you know, cool. But not overly hot. It just like it just went straight up to heat today. It's like it's legit. Seems like summer right now. I have my window open, fan on, and it's still super hot. So I, I can't believe I'm already considering getting my AC unit back in the window. My aircon. Kind of ridiculous that all this what weather modification they're doing, making making it hot out, do whatever they're where they're doing that's making the weather behavior odd, not normal. It makes it hot when it's supposed to be nice, nice springy weather. That's pretty much gone. I don't even remember the last time spring was spring, fall was fall. It's legit just two seasons now. Winter and summer, that's it. Spring and fall have all but faded away, which is a shame. So anyway, um, I was talking about how in Pokemon Go, like, Stardust is such an issue for me, like, for trading and for powering up, and I just thought I'd mention it here, too, that, uh, it really is, like, you know, when you start thinking about, like, what negatives, the biggest negative I can think about in Pokemon Go, I mean, there's quite a few I could think of, but one of the biggest for me is the Stardust situation. Anything you do with Stardust, it's very costly. Anything, like, whatever it is, it's very costly. Trading, costly. Powering up, costly. And then, I know you can use star pieces, but even still with star pieces, 
They only last a little bit, and you only get a little bit more stardust, like a tiny, minimal amount. It doesn't even make a difference. But, um, yeah, it's just, that's like the most frustrating thing, I think, in, about the game, is how small amount you get from the, uh, the star pieces and how expensive everything is. Trading and powering up. So, that's my biggest negative I can think of about the game. But, um, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go lately. I've been biking, biking around on my totally unsafe bike. I say it's unsafe because there's um, basically a hand me hand me down bike that my family didn't want that was been sitting out in the elements for years. I'm not even joking when I say that. Sitting out in the elements, not properly taken care of or stored. Uh, chain is completely rusted. I had to take off the, its original tire and replace it with another, you know, dilapidated bike tire and then combine the two together. So I'm still using the really old chain. And it's uh it's still uh has you know crummy seat on it. There's no brakes, that's a big one. <laughs> I should have mentioned that first. There's no brakes. I can't stop, you know, in a normal manner. I would have to ruin my new shoes that I got for walking and biking. I have to ruin them by you know, scraping to stop to slow down. So that's probably the biggest thing. Actually, no. The biggest thing is the rusted chain. So if that snaps, well, there goes that. I mean, I know I could buy a new chain, but still. Um, and then the second biggest thing is the brakes. I think brakes are a little bit trickier to, to buy and to fix. Either way, I'm, I mean, I know it's a piece of crap, and it is a piece of crap bike, but it's just for now until I can get something else. And uh, I, I do like biking. I'd rather have a bike that works and that's not so scary to ride <laughs> in regards to braking and things like that. But you gotta work with what you got. Ow! Oh, that the heel, rat. can't just find this bloody thing but that's the that's the thing you know that's the thing with um with this game shiny hunting it's slow going but it's worth it once you get a shiny um i may not be doing another series of this i don't know because when i say series i mean like trying to poke uh you know chain chain the pokemon Chain another one to get another shiny after this, if we can even get a shiny boober. But, um, yeah, I just... It would be good to stream this game, because then I could talk with people, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. I did stream it, stream this game. I have streamed it before. Um, but usually when you're doing something like this, like what I'm doing right now, I what I did in the past, before I started streaming and recording videos, I would just... Um, watch something so that way you know the, this wouldn't be as you know a pain in the butt when you're watching something obviously you're watching something and um, you don't have to worry about you know if it's boring or you know worry about what you're gonna say you just look out for the shiny and you know on the other screen watch something else multitask so that's my recommendation to you guys, but yeah, since I'm streaming slash recording these, well, I'm recording the, this, but streaming on the side as well, uh, I may just leave it like this. This will be my Magmar slash Boober um, shiny, you know, shiny hunting tips strategy, and that I'll probably just leave it at that. Showed you guys my my shinies. 
And um, yeah, I don't know. I you, oh, you know, I just thought of I could do um, gym battle like a gym battle series, that be or elite four. Um, you can battle the elite four every day, and the original trainers, gym trainers. You can rebattle them, and I need to because I need to get um, start making money again. I've been spending a lot of my, of my money on uh, max lures and ultra balls, so I'm pretty low on funds right now. Pretty low. So that's something we can do. I don't know if that'd be interesting, but yeah, like show off my elite four team battling team. Not, not not just necessarily, you know, my standard team. Just take random teams and make it a challenge. So, that could be something that we could do. But I think as far as shiny hunting series goes, maybe I'll just stick to with um, showing you guys. I showed you guys my chaining method. I showed you guys. I'm in the process of showing you guys how to get the shiny. I think after that, then uh, I'm just going to stop. Oh, come on. They keep running into me. I'm just gonna stop and we'll do other things in this game and there's still Pokemon Shield to come. I wanna make Pokemon Shield the whole series and luckily, you know, for the longest time I said this was bad, but luckily I have not I have not played much of Pokemon Shield. So, you know what that means? That means I'll be able to play it with you guys, for you guys, and it'll be a new experience since I haven't played much of Shield. So, I'm looking forward to playing Shield. For sure, for sure. So, that's going to be a series. Pokemon Shield is going to be a series. Um, basically, I'm just going to play like normal, catch Pokemon like normal, and uh, record videos. Plain and simple. Oh, well, simple. Oh my word. My, my lures, I'm using my lure. I'm walking around too much. Too much, guys. So I'm just gonna stand here for a second, wait for some new ones to pop. If you guys um, are interested, if you guys like Pokemon Go, let me know, and uh, we can exchange friend codes or um, yeah, friend codes. And uh, I gift, I gift daily, gift daily. So. You guys are good at gifting too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys want to be my friend on there, and you know, if you guys are near any like cool cities or like near some cool gyms, or not not cool gyms, but any gems, and um, if you raid a lot, definitely let me know, and uh, send me an invite for raids. Uh, I like to use my remote raids to go hang out with, not hang out, but help my virtual friends that are in other countries and it's cool to have a raid Pokemon Pokemon you get from a raid from another country I really like that I, I always like that in Pokemon games where when you you know like the wonder trade in Pokemon Sun there's a wonder trade and and I think there's trading in shield too but you get a Pokemon from another country I like that I like getting Pokemon from other countries so uh, yeah, if you guys raid a lot, let me know. We'll switch friend codes and uh, we'll get started. Also, if you're interested in trading, although trading does take a long time to become best friends, you can only trade with people close if you're not um, max friendship level. You have to be max friendship level if you have friends in another country to you know trade over a distance, but. Which I think is stupid. I mean, I kind of understand why they do it, but at the same time, it's just like, it takes so long to get max friendship with somebody. I don't even know how long, but at least over two weeks. At least over two weeks of, you know, each person sending a gift to that person every day. Not more. It's probably more than two weeks, honestly. It takes so long. So, like, it takes that long just to be able to trade with somebody. And then, going back to what I was saying about the Stardust situation, it takes buttloads of Stardust to trade. Like, there was this one trade I was going to trade somebody, locally, 
And it was like over a hundred thousand just for one trade. For one! And then like if you want to power up, forget about powering up your Pokemon because, you know, you're gonna need the, the Stardust for powering up. See, I think what they should do, two things they should do. One is make it cheaper, at least 50% cheaper than what they currently have it at. Why make it so expensive? I don't get it. And two, they should have a different currency for trading and a different currency for powering up. They shouldn't share the same currency because I have very little Stardust. Stardust for me, going back to what I said earlier in the video, uh, is so hard for me personally to get. I I use the star pieces sometimes. I don't spend my my Stardust willy nilly, and I so I and I play the game a lot. So uh, as a person who plays normally and doesn't spend their Stardust willy nilly, it's hard for me to earn Stardust, lots and lots to stockpile it because yeah, you get barely any. So my point is that for a person like me who plays a lot. Of Pokemon Go. If a person like me doesn't have that much Stardust, then there's then per someone who plays every so often is not gonna have much of a chance to ever trade. Kind of discouraging. Go out and in again. Anywho, yeah, I've always liked trading in all the older. Pokemon games. I always like trading, but in, I feel like in Pokemon Go it's kind of, you know, discouraged. And it's discouraging when you're like, oh, I want to trade. Oh, that Pokemon looks cool. Let's trade. And they're like, okay. And then you get to it and it's like over 100,000 Stardust. And you're like, well, I won't be getting that. <laughs> De la vie, mon ami. Oui, oui. So, look at all these boobers, and not one boober is shiny. What's going on, man? Why is there no boobers? It is warm in here. Warm. So, man, I was hoping to get a shiny in this episode. We might have to do one more episode. Erg. I know what else I, f I just remembered. <laughs> this light bulb memory, I thought I'll share it with you in case anyone cares. Um, I was doing Deep Rock Galactic series. Trying out all the, um, the characters. And I forgot one. I forgot the the one that I'm maining. My main, and that's the um, engineer. I forgot to do the engineer. I just, it just popped in my head like random light bulb that I forgot to do the engineer uh, class in Deep Rock Galactic. So I'm going to have to add that to my list so I remember for my video to do that. It'd be so cool to get a perfect IV shiny. But um, yeah. So I need to do that. I have loads of, of videos that I'm going to be doing, guys. I'm going to be doing Spyro. Spyro, Pokemon uh, Shield. Uh, when Pokemon Snap comes out, I'm doing Pokemon Snap. When Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond comes out, I'm doing Brilliant Diamond. So I have loads, endless, really endless amounts of content coming every day. So be sure to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, guys. I push, push up videos every day. So... And if you want to come talk to me live, come stop by my Twitch. Stream every day. Um, and put out videos every day. So, come check out my videos. I uh, try my best to make the playlists nice and neat and easy to access. So, I know like when I watch you know, other people and I'm like, okay, where's the next video in this series? And it's like not in a proper playlist. I'm like, oh, come on. Why is there no like proper playlist so since I don't like that I'm not gonna push it on anyone so I'm gonna make my channel full of like properly organized properly you know sorted um, ch you know full of videos on my channel so anyway I have point is I have loads of ideas coming loads of videos 
coming, and uh, it would be awesome if you guys uh, came and stopped by. Hmm. Let's try going up here for a bit. I know it doesn't matter. You could get a shiny anywhere. I'm kind of tired of being down there, though. <laughs> and right here. Seems like a good spot because I could see other places. Don't run into me. Ow. No. Oh man, I was really, really hoping to get a shiny in this episode, guys. I'm sorry. Oh man. Oh man. I wanted to get a shiny in this episode. Oh, my lures must be. I must be almost done with my lures. Let's trap here for a bit. No, no, rat. Oh, it ran right into me. Spawning up here. A few boobers. Boober. Lucky. I don't know why they didn't leave Lucky's name Lucky. I mean, yeah, they should have just left it alone. They changed it to Chauncey. But Lucky is already a good name. Some of the Japanese names I really like. I don't know how I feel about Booba. Booba. That's this guy's name. Magmar. Miss Booba. Booba Booba. Oh, where is my shiny Pokemon? Is me shiny. Shiny. Oh no, I don't want you. Yeah, you grimer. Yeah, grime Pokemon. Nobody likes you. Nobody. I don't know anybody who's ever said my favorite Pokemon is Grimer or Muck. If it is your favorite Pokemon, kudos to you. Uh, we all have our likes and dislikes, but why would you like sludge? Poisonous sludge. And I remember, if I recall correctly, in the anime, it stunk as well. I remember they, there was this whole ordeal about people plugging their nose and like falling to the ground because it stunk so bad. So it's stinky, it's poisonous, it's messy. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I definitely remember. I remember Muck, um, like, fell in love with Professor Oak. And <laughs> it was like, every time he took him out of the ball, Muck was like, Muck! And, like, tackles Professor Oak. But it was also stinky. Or am I thinking of somebody else? No, I'm pretty sure it's Muck. Is the stinky one. Stinky and poisonous and messy. That's what Muck is. So it's like, why... Would you want a stinky, sludgy, messy, poisonous Pokemon? Why? You tell me why. Tell me why. You would like the Pokemon that's stinky. Uh, and this one ran straight into me. Straight into me. Yeah, I was hoping to catch a shiny in this episode, guys. But we may have to leave it here because sorry, get going past my time. Too long, too long. So, uh, 
I may have to edit this video. Uh, wow, that's kind of a shame, but such is shiny hunting, you know? You could you could spend all afternoon, all day, and not find a shiny. But then again, some people have found shinies, you know, within the first five minutes of their shiny hunting. So it's just, it's all chance, so. It's been a while since I saved. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next episode. I'm hoping we catch one in the next episode. But yeah, I'm going to make episodes until we find them. A little boober turd. <laughs> Magmar. Uh, so, anyway, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. Be sure to subscribe. I put up videos every day. I have more videos coming. More Pokemon stuff coming, too. So, thanks again. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.